Hey friends, Ash here with Gent Sense. Hope you're doing really well. Today, I've got a new indie fragrance for you guys from a new indie house. The fragrance is right here. Superstition number 13 from the 13th Floor Fragrance Company. And this one was made in collaboration with Sarah McCartney of 4160 Tuesdays, which is a really well-known indie house. If you're unaware of them for any reason, leave a link in the description to both. And I'm sure this is the first time a lot of you are hearing about this company or this fragrance. It's the brainchild of Steve Shippey. He's actually a really well-known rapper, goes by the stage name of Prozac, and also has his own television show that he hosts on the Travel Channel called Haunting in the Heartland. He's a really cool guy, really into fragrances, very talented. We talk on Instagram back and forth. And this is his first foray into having a fragrance done. So in this video, I'm gonna go over this fragrance, let you guys know how it smells, let you know what I think about it, give you the full breakdown. Let's jump into it. This video I actually wanted to get out on Halloween. Unfortunately, that didn't work out, but better late than never. And I've also got some promo shots of the fragrance that I'm going to include here. So it's gonna give you a nice look at the fragrance, the presentation, all that good stuff. And we'll take a quick look at the bottle right here as well. It's in this square design, does feel good in the hand. Decent amount of heft for the size here. You've got the label on the front, which has the name of the fragrance, the name of the house, size and concentration. It's an Eau de Parfum 50 mil size. The cap slides snugly into place. You can pretty easily pick this up by the cap as you can see right there. I'll go ahead and waste a couple sprays for you guys so you can check out the atomizer. There we go. I kind of wanted to spray it that way so that the wind doesn't blow it straight onto the lens and then have all these speckles. And also should mention that there is a coupon code Gents Sense, pretty easy to remember, for 20% off of this fragrance if you're interested. So make sure to keep that in mind. Now let's jump into the fragrance here. This one opens up really well blended, it smells very nice off the top. Get a little bit of citrus, mainly gonna be bergamot there. So you got a little bit of freshness, a little bit of sweetness coming from the citrus off the top, but you also get a good amount of violet right away. Actually, it's violet with lavender and little pops of spice and citrus. So all those different things going on right in the opening. And like I said before, really well blended. Pretty quickly, the fragrance starts to warm up and it takes on sort of an ambery vibe. So you get benzoin, you get vanilla, you get sandalwood, and you get frankincense. And all those notes make themselves known right after that initial uh, blast that's got that, that little bit of citrus. Once that dies away, all these other notes make themselves known. There's a little bit of smokiness in here, but not a huge amount. It's more of a nuance, like this little bit of supporting smoke in there, but it's not a heavy amount of smokiness. It's not this, you know, really dense smoke or anything like that. More so, it's smooth, a little bit creamy, uh, warm, and has some inviting sweetness to it. As it dries down more, you get this kind of earthy oak moss that comes out, kind of starts to work its way up and become more prominent, and it melds together with the violet for me. And the violet here is described as a dark floral, and that's a pretty good description. That's how it comes across. So once that oak moss starts to come out with that little bit of an earthy vibe, it melds with the violet. And as you hit the far dry down, a little touch of powder comes out, not too much, just a little bit. And it becomes mainly that amber, this really nice amber with frankincense and a touch of tobacco leaf. And like the opening, well blended, really well done. Smells very appealing. Now let's talk about performance. In terms of longevity, eight plus hours. So above average, no problem there. In terms of projection, more moderate for the first 45 minutes to an hour than it sits closer to the skin. And this fragrance actually faked me out a little bit. It's one of those scents where you think it's gone. You're not really picking it up all that much and then all of a sudden, boom, you catch a whiff and it's still there. And with this one, I actually sprayed it on in the evening about 7, 8 p.m., went to bed that evening, woke up the next day and still could smell it. So it's not one that I would say is beast mode as far as projection goes, but as far as longevity, staying power, yeah, lasts a long time. In terms of seasons, for me, gonna be fall and winter time, which probably not too much of a surprise. And in terms of whether I'd wear it more during the day or in the night, 
nighttime for sure. I really like the idea of the fragrance, the idea of the house in general. You don't very often see fragrances that are inspired by say the paranormal or the supernatural, things that some people might consider uh, creepy. You don't really see that very often. And I myself am an enormous fan of fall time, of Halloween, of ghost stories, of horror movies, of horror stories, all of that. So I'm here for it. I'm absolutely here for it. So this one is a great first step into more things down the road that are going to come out hopefully and, and tackle different ideas and go different directions. Absolutely looking forward to that and can't wait to check those out should they come in the future. And I hope they do. So I'm gonna give this fragrance a thumbs up. It smells really nice. It's grown on me. Each time that I've worn it, I've liked it a little bit more. I really appreciate how well blended it is, how nothing sticks out like a sore thumb. I like the dry down with the amber, the frankincense, the vanilla, a little bit of tobacco in there as well. Really nice. Remember, if you're interested in this, use that code GENSENSE, 20% off, save yourself some money and pick up this fragrance. Really, really nice and a great Halloween scent. I must say as well, I know we're right past Halloween, but for next year or for this fall, we're heading into winter, still works. He's also got a haunted Saginaw candle on the website, so you can do a bundle, the fragrance with the candle. I haven't actually smelled that one yet, but uh, I do enjoy my scented candles. All right, guys, it's gonna do it for me. 13th Floor Fragrance Company launch fragrance, the first one, Superstition number 13, done by Sarah McCartney, 4160 Tuesdays, extremely talented perfumer. She also did uh, the fragrance for the YouTube channel, Wafts from the Loft, which I have not smelled yet. Uh, hopefully I'll pick up a bottle before those are all gone. But uh, yeah, Superstition number 13. Thumbs up, check it out. And if you guys are familiar with the television show Haunting in the Heartland or Prozac as a rapper or Sarah McCartney of 4162 Tuesdays, let me know in the comments below. A really interesting match here, these two pairing up to give us a fragrance. All right, guys, it's gonna do it for me. Thank you for all of your support as always. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. Stay safe out there, guys. See you later.